G'day guys, it's the Pink King here and I'm back with another of my AFL 2020 Premiership season. It's round 7 and in this match we've got the Gold Coast Suns versus the Adelaide Crows. Before we get into this, I was interested to find out why Gold Coast weren't playing any of their rookies. Well, not so much any of them, but all the, their main ones for the last two seasons. Uh, Jack Lacocious, Isaac Rankin... Noah Anderson and Matt Rowell. Right, Rowell? Yeah, Rowell. Um, so I decided to go into their squad. Now, I'm not going to make any changes for this. Like, it's not my business uh, what the team wants to field. I'm not coach. Um, so, yeah, I was just having a look to see the team that they had and the team that they were, you know, where, where their, their rookies were. Now, yeah, you know, overall, their team's pretty solid. Based on their, um, their ratings, um, it makes sense that uh, Ben King and Lukosius and Rankin and Anderson and, and Roll are all not playing because their ratings, based on the game, is... Um, not good enough to get into the side. Um, yeah, that the highest out of all of them is I think 74 Lacocious. So if anyone was going to get a game against Lacocious, and you look at their starting team, and I'm pretty sure everyone's at least 75 rated. Oh no, Pierce Hanley is only 73 rated. That's interesting. But yeah, Pierce Hanley's the only player that's rated less than 75. And probably unfairly as well. Um, out of their whole team. So that's why their rookies aren't being played. Because apparently they're just not good enough. Uh, light rain anyway at Metricon. On this Saturday afternoon game. Interesting one is Crows are just outside the eight, uh, out the four. Uh, wait, where was Suns? Eleventh. Okay, so I think they're on percentage outside of the eight, so they're only just outside the eight. So, bit of an interesting one here. Um, yeah, Crows can enter the top four if they win, and Suns can enter the top eight if they win. Alright, so we're up at Metricon where the Suns take on the Crows. Bit of rain about. As we welcome you today for Saturday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson here. Welcome to Metricon State. Expecting a bit of a com well, uh, we're expecting a competitive game today. Gary Lyon. Hi Hado, really excited about this one today. Here today the clash between Alright, that's the teams, thanks for coming. No, you don't get a banner if you're gonna bullshit about 19th man shit. A big reception for the home side. The banners are ready for the players. Can't read it because they're all, all the players are in the way. Swear Ray just gets taller every fucking game. He just tries to be slightly shorter than the players. He's taller in some games than he is in others. Anyway, Suns won the toss and turned, decided to go right off screen. Riley O'Brien and I think it's Peter Wright. Tap, came from Smith. Tap down. Oh, Zach Smith, of course it is. Alright, oh, nothing really happened. Tapped. Went about 10 metres and then stopped. Smith kicks it forward. Two on two and a big mark by Brody Smith. So they're going to try and work it out, the Crows. They kick it to Rory Atkins. Rory Atkins gets the handball. Goes straight to the jo uh, Gold Coast player. Kicked outside 50 now. Crouch picks it up and gets tackled immediately. So it's a ball up on the wing. Riley O'Brien just takes on... 
three tackles before finally having to get rid of the ball. Short kick to Matt Crouch. And he rolls along the ground and gets smothered. Handballed out. So it looks like the Suns, like, it's it's not really, nothing's happened yet, but looks like the Suns sort of, oh, Jordan Murdoch apparently got injured. Uh, the Suns don't mind a bit of a scrappy game, the, the wet weather footy. Tackle after tackle, kick forward, and Tom Dode takes the mark. He goes wide on the wing. Roy Atkins left alone, and he plays on and gets drilled. Not sure who did it, but it was a good tackle. Kicks it forward, marked by Alex Sexton. Sexton's too far out, way too far out, so he goes short to Pierce Hanley. Hanley's probably still got a bit of distance too far for him, so he goes, plays on, wheels around, and kicks it to Peter Wright, who definitely has the distance now. So we've been playing 13 minutes and nothing's happened yet, but this is about to change when Peter Wright kicks the first goal of the match, straight through the middle. So the Suns are on the board. Ball up. I don't know who that was in the ruck, but it wasn't Riley O'Brien. The Crows get the clearance, so maybe... maybe, maybe this is going to be Crow's strong point is getting clearances out the middle. Bang! Goes Bryce Gibbs, and they respond. So after 13 minutes of play, we had no goal. Well, we got one goal. Only th two and a half minutes later, we've got another one. See, I think Crow's strength would be winning it straight out the middle and attacking quickly, which is what they're trying to do now. Out to Ben Keys again. He looks to be the link-up man here. His kick needs to be a good one. He sends it inside 50 and marked by Jordan Gallucci. So maybe maybe Crows have worked out the, the game plan for today. They seem to have a different one each time. Gallucci just inside 50, boots it to the square, and it bounces over the line off of Jack Homsch's hands. A minute 15 left. Probably not enough time for Gold Coast to kick another one. They go wide. Short and Ben Keys takes the mark, so he's um he's been influential in the Crows getting their engines revved up and going in this first quarter, and he could put them seven points up after the siren here, and he kicks it for a point. So eight to six, one goal, two to one goal straight. The Crows lead at quarter time. Check out the stats. Adelaide have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. A lot of clangers for the Suns. 8-2. to two. And considering they've only had 40% possession, that means a lot. Those stats, the hitouts are favouring Gold Coast, but everything else, either slightly or heavily favouring the Crows here. Jesse Joyce with two disposals. For the Suns, the only multiple disposal getter for the Suns. Atkins with three, Gibbs with two, Smith with two, and the other one that's not there is Keys. Um, he's had at least three disposals. I've, I know he's had three disposals, so that's weird. Anyway, balled up. Right wins it, taps down, and Fiorini is tackled immediately, so it's another one. Smith. Again, taps it down, kick forward by the Suns. Gets out, Crow's way. No one's stopping it as it goes forward. It's a one on one, punch down. Gold Coast first to the ball, and Lockie Weller is wrapped up before he can do anything with it. So it's a ball up again. Punch forward by Smith. Quick kick, hits the post. Gallucci couldn't kick straight enough. So it's 6 to 9. Three and a half into the second quarter. Played on by Homsch. Takes a bounce. Short kick. Just inside 50 still. Crows have the numbers. They soccer it forward. Baholki gets tackled. And another ball up. So just waiting for the game to open up. Although if I'm a Sun supporter, I'd say uh, the opposite. I don't want the game to open up if I'm a Sun supporter. Because the Crows seem to be favouring... The open play, 
as Talia boots it back inside 50. Broken tackles everywhere. Booted back out. It's a two-on-one here. Doesn't get to either of the Suns players there. And it's handballed forward by the Suns. No one in the 50 as it's booted forward by a Crows player. I don't know who it was. It's a goal. Taylor Walker kicks it. The Crows starting to get on top here. The stats were favouring them at quarter time. And it's starting to pay off. Tapped down by the Suns. Oh, failed to actually get a clearance out of it. Oh, first the ball's the Suns. Kick it forward again. Ball comes loose, and now the Crows are away. Players running towards goal. Kick wide. No one gets to it, and again, it's turned over. I don't know who number three is, but he has a good run. Kicks it inside 50. It's a two-on-one forward of the ball. Gets to the goal square. Alex Sexton doesn't bother picking it up. He just kicks it through the goals, and it's back to three points the difference. Twelve minutes into the second half, uh, second quarter. There's seven and a half to go as it's tapped down and in the back against Toot Miller. So the Crows just need to keep getting those centre clearances. And the Suns will be hoping to just uh, wrap it up more. Gets out the back, hits the post again, I think. Yep, McKay's hit the post. Six minutes to go. Four points the difference. Could this... Inaccuracy costs the Crows late in the game. We'll find out. Tap forward to Paul Seedsman. He plays on. He was too far out from his perspective. Kicks it. I reckon he probably had the distance in real life. He's he's kicked a few torques from, from about that distance, but he decided against it. Tap forward again to the 50. Toot Miller soccers it forward. Socket forward again. They don't want to pick it up. It's too wet for it. Players everywhere around the ball. Gold Coast don't want to spill it here. Two broken tackles. Kick sideways. First of the ball will be a Crows player. And they have an open 50. There's a one-on-one. -on -one. Kick it forward. Is the time going to beat them, though? Marked by Jack Holmes. And he doesn't have to do anything now because the siren will go. So it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, four-point ball game at half time. The Crows walk in in front. So they're dominating the inside 50s now. The disposals are pretty even. Um, what else? The clangers are still pretty lopsided there. Um, Suns giving up the ball way too often. Way more marks the Crows as well. Uh, possessions evened up and the hitouts 12 to nothing is heavily favouring the, the Suns there. So Homsch now has four disposals, which is probably not a good thing for the, um, the Suns because he's a defender. Bryce Gibbs with four for the Crows. He's also got a goal, so he's probably best on ground at the moment. And, yeah, that will that will do it for now, I think. Second half action about to come in. So the ball's balled up for the second half to begin. Tap down. Crouch spills it loose. Don't know why you'd go backwards in that situation, but that's what the Suns do. They pick it up, spills out again. Players are all around the ball. And that second ball up is what the Suns were looking for. It's, it tends to go their way once it's balled up a second time. Soccer forward by the Crows. Keeps soccer it forward and it's a running race here. And guess who's going to win it? It's Brad Crouch and he fucking sprays it. He had an open goal square. He didn't even have to kick it. But he misses. So it's five points the difference. Homsch. Decides not to play on because Sloan was... Was it Sloan was waiting for him? So, kicks it forward. Pack mark. No one d takes it though. Running in into the open 50 was Tom Lynch and he kicks the goal. So it's 11 points of difference and the Crows just piling it on while they can. And they did it the right way this time with a goal. Suns tap down. Goes their way. Crows get first... Use of it though. Sloan boots it forward. A lot of players around it, and Gallucci's the one that takes the mark. He goes back quickly, gets it inside 50, but there's Suns players everywhere. They spill it on the ground, and here's the turnover that they wanted. No, nope. Darcy Fogarty is done for throwing the ball. Mark by Lockie Weller. You might want to just slow it down here. It goes down the wing. Sloan's in front of the pack, and he picks it up, kicks it forward again. Coming back and it goes out of bounds. So Ten minutes in the quarter to go and the Suns 
are seeing this game slip away as, as it goes on. Rory Atkins picks up the ball just to get tackled. Tap forward again. Gallucci's tackled, so it's another ball up. Punch forward. Sloan picks up the ball and he gets tackled. So the Suns back to their shut down ways. The only issue is they're not in front. They need to get in front before they do this. Soccered forward by the Crows. There's two on two. They just keep soccering it forward. Now the Suns pick it up. Uh, soccer it forward. High tackle against Darcy Fogarty. It's been a bit undisciplined. Kick forward and guess who's under it? It's Wayne Malira. He was the only one there and he was just waiting for the ball to arrive in his hands. So he can kick it to Brandon Ellis. He turns, kicks it wide onto the wing as Hugh Greenwood. He kicks it back to the centre of the ground. Marked by Rory Laird. Uh, very well could be the, la the, the score at three-quarter time at the moment. Not a whole lot's happening. It spills loose. Kick forward. It's a one-on-one -on -one race. Kick forward again. And Holmes was there to clean up. So he's played a vital role in keeping the Suns in this. Kicked back to the centre of the ground. 30 seconds remaining. Who gets the ball? High tackle against Peter Wright. And that's the end of the quarter. Because by the time he kicks it, well, he doesn't even kick it. So 11 points the difference. The Crows winning. It's not an unassailable lead, but it's getting that way. 14 inside 50s to 3 the Crows way. We've seen play, uh, teams win it from this position before, but they have to double their score for the first three quarters and double it in one quarter and end up winning. We'd have to keep Crows scoreless too for that to be a win. Um, yeah, still just giving up the ball way too, too frequently, the, the Suns. If they were more uh, careful with the ball, that would be alright. Homps with six disposals, Galucci with five, Wolocki Weller with five. So you want to see more of the ball in the Suns' hands. They also didn't score a point in that quarter. Alright, Smith taps it down. Sloan gets the clearance though. Punch forward and the Suns are in defence again. High tackle against Miles Paholke. So this is where they got to launch their attack. And Galucci also gives a high tackle. They're just trying to close line the players right now. A lot of players on the ball comes up high tackling. It's Bryce Gibbs. They're just giving free kick after free kick away. Kicks it to Jared Harbrow. He kicks it wide. It's a one on one. Suns get there first, but he can't mark it. And it's a tackle on Brad Crouch for a ball up. So four minutes have been run off the clock so far. It's just four to centre towards Suns' goals. Sloan first of the ball gets tackled immediately. Bills out. Keys handballs backwards. Kicked forward by the Suns, and they're within a goal. Here we go. This is that start that they needed. Murdoch kicks the goal. Seven minutes into the quarter. Um, just, just, uh, just over five, actually. The clock on the big screen said seven minutes. So the ball's back up. Spills out. Kicked to the 50 by the Suns. No mark. Picked up by a Suns player. It's a two-on-one here. They just need to ball out, but Rory Atkins... Keeps it in for a ball up on the Suns 50. Wide in the pocket. Comes out. There's players everywhere. Suns have the extra number. And they're in front. What a kick from Hugh Greenwood against the old team. He wants to show him them that who's boss. And gives a bit of a rib tickle for... I don't know who it was, actually. But, he yeah, he gives him a rib tickle on the way past. Look at that. Just bang. One step. Sends it straight towards goal, and it goes straight over the goal umpire's head. It's a point in the difference, and there's eight minutes to go. So the Suns have have the momentum. Uh, I've forgotten his name. Zach Smith soccers it forward. It's back inside their 50, but the rebound 50 might be coming. Kicked out to Paul Seisman. He plays on. He takes a bounce. He runs to the 50. He kicks it, and he puts them back in front. Paul Seisman. Kicks a ripper and the Crows are back in front by five. Nine to go in the game. Balled up. Zach Smith taps down. Suns just can't get that clean clearance. They just get pulled up each time. Tex is also in the, uh, in the ruck at the moment. Booted forward. Is that Murdoch under it? It is. He takes the mark. He's inside range. 
This to put them back in front with seven to go. Well, less than seven by the time he kicks it. He goes bang. And it's not accurate enough. So they're down by four. Accurate goal kicking was what they needed. And they haven't got it with that kick. Murdoch would be upset with himself. Kick short, wide. Comes forward of the pack. Broken tackle, handballed backwards. Shouldn't have done that. Should have held it in. Ball comes back to the 50 and McKay's tackle to five to go. Lopsided. Alex Sexton turns and kicks a goal. The Suns back in front. Four minutes, 15, or well, 16 seconds to go in the game. And the Suns are up by two. Is there another twist to this tail? Handball forward. Suns can't keep control of the ball. It's turned over. Jack Bowes gets the ball before he gets tackled. Sexton comes off. He could possibly be the match winner here. And he's coming off the ground with three to go. Lopsided ruck tap again. Socket forward. That's all they need to do right now. Keep moving it forward. It keeps just spilling out, but it's going the Suns' way. The Crows got a good rebound 50 here. Players streaming towards their goals. They can't get it through. It's Jordan Murdoch. He takes one too many players on, but it doesn't matter. The time's run out on the Crows, and the Suns have won it. What a match that They've doubled their own score. Gary, any final thoughts? The Crows kicked one to put themselves back in front, and then they bang it in with five to go on the clock. And they hold them off to win the match. The Crows, I think they've lost a couple in a row here. Bit of questionable form from the Crows. The Suns, I think they just got smashed by the G GWS, but they've turned and rebounded off that loss. With a bit of an upset victory here. I guess every, every game there wins an upset. But 30 clangers they had this game. They lost the inside 50 count, 16 to 9. And I think the only thing that really kept them in it was the hitouts, which is why I think Zach Smith is player of the match. Uh, Homps is probably up there as well. Gallucci will be up there. Weller will be up there. Sexton will be up there, I think. I'd give it to Zach Smith. I'd give votes to Gallucci or Sloan. And then the third one would have to be... Um, did I say Homs was three votes? Or did I say Sexton? Because Sexton should get one vote. Homs will get three. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Lucky Weller. I was right with Sloan. I thought he was in there. Seedsman. Bit of a different one. Anyway, guys, that would do it. The Suns win by two points. Uh, yeah, they pretty much won it just from Adelaide's inaccuracy, which is what I said in like, the first quarter, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with the next video. I don't know who's playing, so stick around and find out. And I'll see you guys later.